Hello, so here we are with a quick software tour of the Motorola Zoom 2 Media Edition. This is the 8.2 inch tablet for, from Motorola running Google Android 3.2 which is likely to be upgradable to Ice Cream Sandwich in 2012. So we've got the 8.2 inch capacitive screen, we've got a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera, we've got the Motorola branding, completely flush down here with this sort of black bezel around the edge. On the bottom we've got a speaker, we've got a micro USB charging port, we've got a micro HDMI out and we've got a uh, removable cover here which uh, underneath is blanked out what is likely to be the SIM card slot for the 3G version because this is the Wi-Fi version. On the back we've got a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash with HD video recording capability. We've got a power button and we've got a volume rocker. We've got this black rubber finish for grip. We've then got the gunmetal sort of back cover here with the Motorola branding and under here is the internal workings of the device that includes a 4000 milliamp hour battery. Now this device uh, weighs in at 386 grams. It's quite light. It feels very rigid. You've got 16 gig of internal memory on here and uh, you've got one gig of RAM and a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. Of course, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, all as standard. So let's take a look at the software itself. So it's running Android 3.2 at the moment, and you've probably seen videos demonstrating this before. So it's got all the sensors in it to uh, rotate the screen into the different orientations that you may want. So as you can see, I haven't customised any of the screens so far, so you can flick it around into the different orientations, so if you want to use it in the portrait mode, you can. So let's take a look at some of the features in a little bit more depth. So just to confirm, we've got here some of the running applications that we can go into, so let's just go into the settings, and then I'm just going to show you about the tablet to confirm exactly talking about. So there we go, Zoom 2, Android 3.2. So let's take a look at some of the language settings whilst we're here. So we can set the languages and similar to many other Android devices we've got a whole range of languages there. We've got the touch screen to go back into certain things. We've got different input methods and then we've got quite importantly keyboard language. I know this isn't quite important to a lot of people but here we've got the likes of Arabic, we've got Hebrew, we've got Italian, we've got Russian. So you can actually change the keyboard input um, to your desired or preferred language, even if the actual ROM of the device is in English or another language. So let's go back to the home screen. So we've got our applications. This is what comes loaded as standard. So pretty uh, common here. So let's just go into the camera. So here we are now. It's not very easy to show you on video the camera capabilities but we can flick between the different cameras and there we just see the uh, camera that we're recording on. We've then uh, got the ability to switch between camera and video modes and then we've got a whole host of settings around the side here from flash and then we've got the video qualities as well so let's pop back to the camera and we've got different scene modes we've got white balance and it looks like we can zoom in here as well so there we go zooming in which is kind of nice the uh, quality probably isn't that great when zoomed in uh, and then we can change the uh, picture size we can go down to three, five, what have you. Let's just go into the video settings again and just see the quality. So you've got high and low, so that's going to be the HD video settings, time lapse intervals, and what have you as well. So quite a good range of features in terms of the settings in the camera application. So we've got navigation, uh, we've got Citrix integration for the business users there, we've got gallery. Android market maps um, so it's all there let's go into the browser because I know that's important so here we are we're connected over Wi-Fi here's the keyboard it's uh, quite big so let's type in a web address 
perhaps if we type it in correctly. And away we go. So that's loading up quite quickly there. So it's gone to our mobile site. Let's just go to the main website. So here we are. So it's loading quite quickly and rendering quite well over the Wi-Fi. Let's just pick on a particular product and go into this. So here we can zoom into the page with the capacitive ability. So even in the default zoom level you can actually read uh, the text very easily but you can zoom in and out by double tapping on the screen as well. Let's just go into the videos for this device uh, and let's highlight some of the media capabilities. So I can play that video here. So now we can actually go to the full YouTube uh, channel here as well. And the sound is difficult for you to pick up here, but it's actually um, not that bad uh, on here. So let's just play this in high quality for you um, so that you can... Uh and just in, in full screen. So there you go, hopefully that'll just give you a quick example of the YouTube video playback there. Um, sounds, sounds okay, but it'd be very difficult for you to pick up um, on this video. So we've got the Motocast application on here. Now this hasn't been set up, but what it can do in a nutshell is wirelessly connect to media that you have stored on another computer which you've configured for the Zoom to have access to. So if you've got your iTunes library, other music, uh, videos, photos, providing you set your computer up to allow access and it's switched on, anywhere in the world, providing you've got uh, an internet connection, you can connect to that media and play it back on your Zoom too. So, um, if you've maxed out your 16 gig internal memory and you've got 20 gig of music back on your computer, you can go back to your computer wirelessly from the tab and pick that up and play it. Um, so that's quite a nice um, feature. And as more things move into the cloud, Motocast uh, becomes quite a, uh, a nice thing uh, for, for users. So we've got no images in the gallery at the moment but you've seen some of the ways that the uh, media will play back and then we've got the running applications which we can sort of access and we should be able to And then as I showed before, we've got some of the running applications so that we can quickly flip back into them. So for example, we want to go back into the camera, we can do so. Um, so that's a quick software tour of the Motorola Zoom 2 Media Edition.